All right, so this is going to be the July 2021 uh, patio garden update. A uh, quick shout out if you have not watched Mother Moon Monastery on YouTube, I highly recommend them. Jacqueline and Dan, I've been watching them for over a decade. They are amazing and I absolutely love their gardens. Um, but I live in a condo in St. Louis, so <laughs> I work with the space that I have. So starting off, uh, my basil, uh, he was way up here, and I trimmed him down this weekend and made pesto. This tomato plant is finally starting to produce. Uh, you can actually see one there that's red. So it's finally producing, um, here's some right here starting. These tomato plants and these tomato plants have not been producing yet. These little babies, um, they are finally starting to get um, tomatoes on them and they're the little cherry tomatoes. Our uh, wedding veil or bridal veil is what these are called. This has been the best one we've had ever. He's just loved this spot. Uh, we normally hang him on these, but we decided this year to hang him here. And this, I mean, you can't even see the pot this time. Normally you can see the pots on these because we always get these every year. And this one has just loved this spot. So we'll continue putting them there. Now this garden bed, <laughs> The little fat rat bastard squirrels keep jumping on the bird feeder. And if we come out the deck doors, we'll scare them. They'll jump their fat asses in this garden and onto the flag to get back up in the tree. You can see where they're coming over on this tree here because it needs trimmed. So this basil over here, their fat asses were killing. So I chopped a lot of it out and used it for the basil. And I do have new starts and stuff that's starting to come up. My dill, I've had quite a few trimmings off of it. Um, making pickles already this year. However, their little fat asses have been crushing it. The mint here is just doing great. It's just kind of all over the place. I've trimmed some of him already and dehydrated this year. This basil is doing pretty good. Both rosemaries have been doing good here. The mint for mojitos here has already had two trimmings this season uh, to make mojitos. This Thai mint um, has already had a ton chopped off of him this season already, uh, dehydrated for teas. Um, I do keep getting these little fungus mushrooms here because when we do our morel hunting, um, I bring that water out and I dump it on this uh, planter. So I get, I wish it would grow morels, but instead it grows this little fungus that I have to constantly pluck out. The wild onions and wild garlic down here has all been doing really good. You can see where I've already chopped quite a bit out this season. So I'm going to have to start replanting on it. The bonsai is thriving. He's loving it being out here uh, during the summer. Where normally in the winter I have him in there under the grow lights. The aloe vera <laughs> has been a beast. Um, I've got to research how to propagate him before he snaps. Um, he's gotten so heavy, I've had to put a tomato cage around him. Uh, so I've got to learn how to propagate him and start working on him. My lavenders, this one here and this one here, has not been producing any flowers yet this year. Which breaks my heart because I need to make some more lavender bread. We've depleted our lavender bread already. Um, this rosemary is doing great. He's had many trimmings off him already this season. This mint here as well. Um, this is my uh, spearmint. And I've had many clippings off of him and dehydrated already for teas. And last but not least, my cilantro, which is doing terrible this year. 
he is just not wanting to grow. So he has been quite a struggle. So yeah, that is the full range of my patio garden for July 2021. Again, if you have not watched Mother Moon Monastery, go check their channel out. I absolutely love them um, and they have beautiful, beautiful, amazing gardens. All right, guys, until the next update on the edible all natural garden, Talk to you later.